particular case last year, um, this is the Crown Prince of Denmark, uh, looking at an example uh, of a team of uh, 9 to 14 year olds who looked at climate change and looked at how uh, to uh, reduce for, uh, forest fires. It was picked up by Sony Europe and will now be implemented um, through the EU as part of their policies. So now, uh, what I want to talk to you now is what is the equation for success? If you want to mobilize the community, it's about inspiration. It's about inspired youth. It's, a, it's about adding passionate educators, parents, and mentors. The amount of awareness, empowerment, and relevance is going to be the factor that will ultimately lead to a community to be mobilized. This is how the keys to success. This group is undervalued and underestimated, the youth. Yet they're one of the most influential markets. Uh, and if you talk to any corporation, uh, iPhone, uh, uh, gaming, etc., they have moved social networking technologies very quickly, faster than the rest of our population. Innovation is not just for adults. It's very arrogant of us to think that we hold and corner the market on this. They do not edit their thoughts. That is a good thing for you. Mentors, the combination of mentors and children together, allow them to express themselves where they would normally not be able to. Parents have a different dynamic than that of someone who is actually on the same page with me and my beliefs as it relates to interests. You can see the youth as change agents. Again, who says no to a child? Government and corporations and parents are oftentimes overwhelmed by a knowledgeable child standing up in front of them and saying, you're dealing with my future here. Very persuasive arguments. Again, very critical to, I believe, the success of your projects. The other interesting thing is youth and educators rallying around your project. It becomes a cry in the community. This drives awareness. This drives them to want to participate to help solve the, uh, some of the issues that you are presenting. Passionate educators. Governments, educators, all looking for, youth is the, uh, essentially the, how do you get competitive for the 21st century, in other words, is what is, is the biggest issue. By providing educators um, assistance with helping to facilitate your ideas in the classroom, that helps that teacher teach applied science, technology, engineering, and math. It allows them to put a context, a story, to what is turned to page 42. Educators are your ambassadors and liaisons to the community. More importantly, they are the ambassadors and liaisons to the parents. The parents are the ones that are going to use public transportation. Who do they listen to? Again, think about the, the, the kids, every child that is listening to your issue, listening to the how to uh, get public transportation and mobility issues in your community, means that you have twice, three times the number of eyes and brains looking at your issue, at the fraction of the cost. In fact, and oftentimes at no cost. Again, an untapped, incredibly creative uh, source to uh, draw from. If you would like more information on FIRST or on how you, um, I can assist you with bringing in, uh, creating the demand for your projects in your communities, please do not hesitate to ask. Cindy, my name is Cindy Randall, and I thank you for the opportunity. Thank <laughs> you.